Welcome to the PDN Analyzer 2.0 On Demand Training. As we conclude this course, Module 5 will cover how to generate HTML report documents. As PDN analysis can generate large amounts of tabular as well as graphical data, it is important to be able to capture this information in an output document. Here I have the spirit level design fully modeled and we did a run which has a few violations. I want to capture all of the details in a formal document for review. To do so, I switch to the Visual tab, and over in the lower right-hand corner is a Report button. This will open up the HTML Report dialog. In this dialog, I can select different types of results to include in the final report. The types include artwork imagery, which is basically the copper layer information, high-level system results, lower-level network results, network topology images, and detailed tabular results, as well as any user-defined image captures with captions, and any runtime simulation messages. I can also include or exclude different nets of the network, and I can manage the image captures. So if I want to shuffle the order lowest to highest or move things around to make sense, I can do that here before generating the final report. Once all is set, I click Generate Report, and this will render the information and generate an HTML document which can be viewed in a web browser. I'll go through the details here for each category. The design stack up includes information about the copper layers in terms of thickness as well as dielectric layer, artwork by layer, shows the top and bottom copper layers in this case. Global settings includes all of the settings and limit checks as specified in the configuration file. System level power network results, which shows the high level system and overall indication of pass or fail any user-defined images. So these were screen captures of the lowest voltage drop, the highest current density, the lowest ground voltage, and the highest ground voltage. And then tabular details for each network. So we get the information about the limit checks and what exactly passed or failed and by how much. Also the result summary in terms of sources and loads down to individual pins and so on. So all of this information is captured per network and it contains all of the details necessary to analyze a problem down to a specific pin of a component within a given power net. And finally, any runtime messages that were issued during the analysis process. So all of this information is nicely captured and easily managed within an HTML report document. This concludes Module 5. Here we have seen how to generate HTML report documents. Please complete Exercise 5 at this time.